聽住先啦。今日幾多係咪？你唔食，記住擺翻冰箱。And I'm a durian retailer in New York City. I have been selling durian for the last 14-15 years. Durian, tropical fruit. They are from hot areas like Malaysia, Thailand, Cambodia, in those hot areas. I call it high energy fruit. Right now the market, the energy drinks are very popular. Durian is like 10 times of that. And it's natural. The first day I got off the plane, I don't even understand English. I don't have no friends. I don't have nobody to talk to. I got sent to Long Island direct. There's no Chinese that you ever seen. You turn on the TV, you don't know what they try to tell you. There's no entertainment, no friend, nothing. I was crying every day, locked myself into a bathroom. I don't want to see no one. immigrant come into this country it's not they really want to give up their homeland it's not they really think you as a better I could say a hundred percent of us we all have homesick we all miss our homeland you have your loved one you have your property you have everything in your homeland you have your family there I don't really want to say it. If you have a choice, don't come here. I always say, the first generation here is only work. Work, work, work like a machine. I make it to Chinatown around 7.30, 8 o'clock, and that's how I start the day. We close at 8, 8.30 every day. I take another hour, train home. That was already like 9 to 10 o'clock. That's how uh, every day, almost the same. I have not taken a holiday, vacation, or anything during the last 15 years. We do have a day off every Tuesday. Just like every New Yorker, one day's off a week. 80% of my main customer, they are mainly Chinese. I also have customer, they come to buy durian because they miss the feelings of their homeland. Jack Jack 
I have people from our state watch TV or YouTube. They saw my stand and they know what it is, what a durian. They call it a stinky fruit. A whole group of people come to my first stand, buy a durian, and see who cannot take it. They eat it right there, and some of them throw up. Some of them love it. It's almost like a competition when you go to a bar, see who get drunk first. You know, it's the same way. See who throw up first. <laughs> I have people buy durian for me and they get into a subway and everybody look at them and say where the hell is that smell coming from? You will feel like so embarrassed so I think of a way try to prevent that problem happen again and I have a bad sealer after I open the durian I seal it for everybody We have a lot of Asian lady they married to a white guy they are kind of homesick I guess so they pass by my durian stand and they see that and they buy one home and after they get home they want to share it with their white husband and the odor and the taste of it drive their husband crazy I got a lady come back and tell me okay my husband banned durian from home tell me not to buy durian to take it home anymore if you want to eat it go eat it in the backyard I don't want my kids to follow my footsteps. I want him to become something successful, like a doctor. So I could support him to achieve his goal. In uh, 10, 20 years, I wish he could uh, support me back so I don't have to work anymore. I want to retire.